simplifying numerical expressions, nandito yung mga familiar things sa atin. Andito si tinatawag natin M does and natawag natin M does which is P, E, M does. Did you know guys na this whole process using the M does rule, the multiplication, division, and addition rule is not true? It is a lie. And hindi siya totoo. Yes, exactly. Um, simula nung natuto tayo regarding sa M does rule, ang katotohanan ay wala dito sa M does rule. Itong M dash rule na to ay ginagawa lang as a guide para mas madali natin maintindihan how to simplify a numerical expression. The first thing to do is to simplify or to evaluate the exponential expression. When we say exponential expression, ito yung meron bang parenthesis dyan or meron exponent dyan. If meron parenthesis pati exponent, masukunahin natin si parenthesis first before exponent. Okay? Punta tayo dito. Ngayon, na-evaluate mo na ito yung exponential expression multiply or divide. So, paano natin malalaman kung ang gagawin natin is to multiply or yung gagawin natin is to divide? So, simply lang guys, from left to right. If ever na yung nasa left is division, first thing to do is to divide. But if ever na ang nasa left is multiplication, what we need to do is to multiply. It depends if ever na kung ano yung nasa left side, whether multiplication or division. So the next thing to do is add or subtract from left to right. Same pa din. Tapos na tayo sa MD, sa AS na tayo. So, sa AS, if ano yung nasa kaliwa, yun yung susundan. So, if subtraction yung nasa kaliwa, subtract first before you add. But, if yung nasa kaliwa is addition, add first before you subtract. Okay? Nuggets? Okay. So, Hi mga Karansters! Welcome back to my channel and for today's video is i-continue natin yung lesson natin at yung series natin yung about sa how to be an expert in algebra. On this example guys, so 10 plus 6 times 5. So, ang gagawin natin is evaluate the exponential expression first, right? So, may nakikita ba kayong parenthesis? So, it is not considered by parenthesis, right? Because it is considered as a multiplication sign. Right? Okay. So, on this case, exponent naman. May kita exponent? Wala. So, proceed tayo sa rule number 2. Multiply or divide from left to right. So, wala tayong may kitang division dito. Ang may kita lang natin is multiplication. So, what we're going to do is to simply multiply 10 plus 6 times 5, which is 11. 30. Okay. Then, ang nakikita, then, ang nakikita lang natin is addition. Wala tayo nakikita. Subtraction. So, simply add, which is 40. So, therefore, we conclude that the numerical expression 10 plus 6 times 5 is equal or equivalent to 40. Guys, right? So, tips lang sa inyo, mga karanster. Madali lang siya. Okay? What we need to do is to practice. Kasi once na naging complex na yung numerical expressions, um, kailangan na natin ng practice. Practice the rules. Tatlo lang yan. Evaluate the, exponent, the exponential expressions. Multiply or divide from left to right. Then, add or subtract from left to right. Yun lang. And the rule is only a guide, not a rule. Okay? So, let's proceed again to the another example. So, let's proceed to the last example for this um, tutorial. 
And on this one, kung mapapansin nyo, it's more complicated na, right? But you don't need to worry for the complication ng numerical expression na to because we have a rules to follow. And when, if we follow these rules, hindi ka malilito, hindi ka maliligaw. Magtatama ang sagot mo pa rin, okay? So, first, first rule, again, evaluate the exponential expressions. So, m does or parenthesis exponent. So, let's proceed first to the parenthesis. On this um, numerical expression, the only parenthesis that we saw is this one. Right? So, it is write lang natin, negative 2 raised to 3 plus 3 bracket, then 14 divided by um, 5 minus 7 5 minus 12, I mean so, how to do that? then, negative 12, then positive 5, positive 5 negative 12, so, paano natin gagawin yan? kung papapansin nyo, magkaiba ng sign ano yung rule natin sa addition? ng mga integers, ang rule natin dyan is, if magkaiba ng sign, just deduct or subtract. So, 12 minus 5 is 7. Then, ang rule natin, copy the sign of the higher higher number, which is the higher number is 12, and the sign of 12 is negative, so negative 7. Okay? So, talagay natin dito, negative 7 then 2 where? okay but on this case guys another meron pa ulit tayo yung parenthesis o yung parenthesis natin is ito okay which is yung naka bracket so write natin negative 2 raised to 3 plus 3 then 14 divided by 7 ang, ang usapan natin o pag unroll natin sa integers if ever na magdi-divide tayo ng, ng integers is simply divide simply divide it and if, it's, if it is like sign or magkapares ng sign um, automatic positive but if it is unlike sign or hindi magkapares ng sign automatic negative so let's um conduct it dito sa ano natin, sa example natin, which is 14 divided by 7 is equivalent to 2. Then, positive si 14, negative si 7, so automatically negative. Right? Then, negative 2 squared. So, manapit na guys. Manapit na tayo. So, anong susunod? We're done on parenthesis. Next is exponent. So, on exponent, nakita natin itong exponent na to, right? So, tatlong negative 2. So, same pa din. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, right? But, negative times negative is equal to positive. Then, positive times negative is equal to negative. So, negative 8. So, bakit ganun? Bakit ganun guys? Pag unlike sign, negative. But pag, pag, pag like sign, positive. Parang ganun to. Parang sa tulad dyan sa, ano, sa, sa real life natin. Na if ever na hindi kayo, mag, hindi kayo magkaintindihan ng um, kaibigan mo, minsan may ano, pangit na impression o pangit na nangyayari. So, ganun din sa nat. If ever na hindi kayo same page, ay negative yung result. But, but pag kayo ay nasa same page, Good result, right? So, wow! So, next thing. Plus, copy lang siya. 3 times negative 2. Then, minus. Then, um, ito na. Ito na tayo. Minus. 2 raised to 2 is may yung question bakit hindi natin sinama si negative 2 okay bakit ang pagkakasama lang natin is si 2 lang sa pag ano natin na exponent ba't hindi siya ganito negative 2 times negative 2 eh na, naka ano naman siya right 
hindi siya talaga yung sasama, guys. Maliban na lang kung nakaparentesis siyang ganito, nakasama yung negative. Hindi niya pag-aari yung negative sign. Okay? So, hindi niya pag-aari yung negative sign. Kaya, ang nangyari sa kanya is hindi kasama yung negative sign sa e, e square natin. That's why ang sagot is minus pa rin, then 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? So, next thing to do, tapos na tayo sa first rule. Now, let's proceed to the second rule. Multiply or divide from left to right. So, ang nakikita lang natin merong um, pwedeng gawin dito is multiplication. So, hindi na tayo mahihiratan. So, what we're going to do is to simply multiply things out, which is 3 by negative 2. So, negative 8, then 3 times negative 2, 3 times 2 is 6, then positive multiplied by negative is simply negative. Because sabi nga natin, pag mag-multiply tayo ng integers, um, ang gagawin natin is to um, pag like sign, automatic positive, pag unlike sign, automatic negative. So, minus 4. So, wala na tayong wala na tayong um, problema dito kasi ang gagawin natin next if wala tayong nakita addition dito meron lang subtraction so basta guys from left to right always yan left to right okay so on this case so para silang minus okay so 8 negative 8 minus 6 so it is ganito parang ganito siya negative 8 minus 6 parehas ng sign. Ang rule natin sa addition and subtraction, I mean sa addition, if, if ever na magkaparehas ng sign, automatically, ang gagawin natin is to add the integers and copy the sign. So, same sa tatlong ito. So, add the integers, then copy the sign. Okay. Nakuha. So, if ever na nakuha na siya, so, any question? So, therefore, the answer, ang sagot is negative 18. Okay. So, madali lang siya, di ba? Napakadali lang niya, guys. Napakadali lang niya, mga kalangsters. So, ang mahalaga lang is to follow the rules. Not the MDAS rules, okay? Not this MDAS rule, but the rule na nakasulat dito. Para at least, mas, ma, mas mapadali ang pagsagot natin ng numerical expressions, okay? Then, for now, um, magbibigay ako ng continuous squeeze, which is only 1 to 5, so that bilang practice nyo na rin. Kasi tulad nung una, nakasabigay din ako sa inyo nung sa lesson 1 regarding sa mga terminologies. And for this lesson, nagbibigay din ako ng panibagong um, twist so that um, mas ma-practice nyo at ma-apply nyo yung rules natin how to multi how to um, simplify or paano sagutan itong numerical expressions. Okay? Stay tuned lang. So, ito na nga mga karanster. So, on this on this um, expression, ang kailangan nyo gawin is to simplify all these numerical expression using our rules. Huwag kayong malilito sa MDAS rules. Gawin nyo yung rules natin pa at least um, hindi kayo maligaw sa pagsagot nitong numerical, numerical expressions, okay? And if meron pa kayo mga questions and suggestions, um, you can follow me on my social media accounts. And then also, um, you can comment down below regarding sa suggestions nyo and also sa ano mga gusto nyo um, i-comment -co regarding sa lesson natin okay? Um, take note regarding lang sa lesson natin because um, automatically um, hindi ko siya mababasa if ever na hindi pa tungkol sa lesson natin okay? So if you like this video just hit like and also share it sa mga kaibigan nyo sa mga classmate nyo para makatulong tayo regarding kung paano maging expert in algebra 
sa mga hanggang sa mga susunod natin mga videos, okay? At kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell para at least ma-notify ka sa mga susunod natin video, lalong-lalo na sa mga susunod natin um, sa mga susunod natin series regarding dito sa ating pag-aaral ng algebra. Watch the first video which is the lesson 1 of our series on how to be an expert in algebra. Then, second thing, watch this numerical expression para mas madali natin maunawaan si algebra. It is like para ano, sa pagkakaibigan ng mga ano, ng, 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 ng bawat individual, right? So, if, bago mo siya totally makilala o makilala ng lubusan, kailangan mo muna siyang... Um, unti-unti in na uh, makilala hanggang sa maging makapalagay ang mga loob. Same as sa mathematics, para mas makilala nyo ng lupusan si algebra, ang um, what you need to do is pag-aralan nyo muna yung simula sa cornerstone or sa mismo foundation hanggang sa hanggang sa mga susunod na mas mahirap pa. Then, it will wow. be our building blocks para makalina natin, makalina natin si algebra, okay? So, stay tuned sa ating next lesson. And for the next lesson natin, for the lesson 3, um, pag-aaralan natin how to evaluate algebraic expression. Kung tapos na natin ma-evaluate or ma-simplify sa numerical expression, um, ang tunod natin gagawin is how to evaluate the algebraic expression. Then, how, how this numerical expression connected to our next lesson to the algebra expression, okay? So, yun lang guys. Yun lang mga karansters. Stay tuned lang sa channel ko and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much guys. Bye!